This video will illustrate the primary landmarks, orientations, and positions used in order to implant the star ankle. The first principal landmark identifies the proper orientation of the implant in the transverse plane. The T alignment guide can be lined up with an osteotome placed in the medial gutter. This is important in order to protect the malleoli from inadvertently being compromised later in the technique. Adjust the varus valgus alignment in the coronal plane by moving the guide medially or laterally on the tibial tubercle pin. With fluoroscopy oriented directly down the barrel of the angel wing, showing the angel wing as thin line with pegs, line up the tip of the angel wing peg to be at the most superior portion of the tibial plafond. Approximately 5 mm of bone will be removed from the tibia. The angel wing represents the location of the transverse tibial cut. Make medial and lateral adjustments with the gear key to minimize the risk of notching the medial and lateral malleoli during tibial resection. Make an upward proximally oriented cut along the inner edge of the medial malleolus. Make the transverse distal tibial cut. Approximately 4 mm of bone will be removed from the Taylor dome. The foot should be 88 to 90 degrees perpendicular to the long axis of the tibia. Excessive dorsiflexion will shift the Taylor component anteriorly, while excessive plantar flexion will shift it posteriorly. Proper orientation protects the Taylor neck from inadvertent weakening from the later Taylor chamfer cut. The talus must be touching the paddle face to ensure adequate resection. Make the transverse tailor cut. Insert the 12 mm end of the joint space evaluator between the cut surfaces of the tibia and talus. 12 mm of space is required for positioning of the tibial and tailor components with a 6 mm bearing. Insert the post-tailor cut template onto the cut surface of the talus. The template determines the correct tailor component size. The outer outline of the template corresponds to the outer outline of the tailor component. Once the appropriate tailor template is determined, attach the drill guide onto the template. The post of the drill guide should be centered over the lateral process. This positions the implant at the center of rotation of the ankle. Once template alignment is secured, insert a 2.4 mm drill tip pin through the drill guide. With the Taylor anterior posterior cut guide attached to the datum, prepare the anterior surface of the talus through the distal and proximal slots of the tailor cut guide with a pecking and sweeping motion. With an oscillating saw, make the posterior tailor cut through the posterior guide of the tailor cutting guide. With the medial lateral tailor cut guide attached to the datum, the reciprocating blade is inserted into the guide until the laser mark and last cutting tooth are flush with the front edge of the guide. The saw is then started and rotated by dropping the tip of the saw blade until the top edge of the blade is even with the engraved line on the side of the guide.
This ensures the proper depth of resection while avoiding resecting down into the subtalar joint. The blade is then drawn anteriorly until the teeth meet the bottom edge of the anterior chamfer face. Excess bone is removed with rongeurs, osteotomes, and other surgical instruments, and removal is confirmed by placement of the window trial. Insert the straight keel mill into the center slot of the Taylor window trial and drill an interior hole, a posterior hole, and center hole. Connect the holes by sweeping the drill in the slot. The Star Ankle, a mobile ankle designed to improve your patient's mobility. United States federal law restricts this device to sale by or on order of a physician. The star is indicated for use as a non-cemented implant to replace a painful arthritic ankle joint due to osteoarthritis, post-traumatic arthritis, or rheumatoid arthritis.